Okay, so this is a histrography for a case of infertility. And uh, the date is, name is not shown. I'm hiding the name, but this is the date on April 2015. So she was diagnosed as an arc with uterus or a trine septum. And then a hysteroscopic intervention done somewhere. And after that, she repeated the hysterography. So that's the hysterography after the surgery. Let me hide the name. I'm going to show you the name. It's normal. So this is the hysterography after the surgery. And that's the date. Uh, April, uh, March 2018. So this is post-operative. So this is before surgery. She was diagnosed with a septum. And the date is here, April 2015. And then this is post-operative after doing hysteroscopic metroplasty. This is 2018. So apparently the intervention uh, doesn't uh, provide the desired uh, result. Okay, thank you. So that's the vaginoscopy view. Always remember to readjust the focus. In hysteroscopy, it's not like laparoscopy. Changing the focus is very mandatory. And that's a nice vaginoscopy. And that's the external os. Uh, a very uh, nice nulliparous external os. Okay, and then Use the fluid pressure to dilate the external os like what I'm doing, okay? Same like the car wash, and then we go gently inside. That's the endocervix, CBD cavity. You can get very fine details by adjusting the focus like this, like this. Come close to show the RBCs. Yeah. You can see the RBCs flowing, you see that? This is the details you can check uh, for any pathology in the endocervix. Again, you have to change the focus every now and then. This is the endocervical glands. Give it time for the fluid to open the internal os. This is the starting Nabutian cyst. Now I have to sit down and gently, gently negotiate the internal os. Gently negotiate the internal os by hands down very much there is some adhesions here and then rotate the telescope always keeping the tunnel view you see the tunnel view okay and gently in gently in breaking the adhesions breaking the adhesion once you are in you have to readjust the focus okay now i am in oh i, I hate to lose the view okay so now i'm inside the cavity a little friction happened Okay, and you can see residual septum inside. That's a residual septum, okay? And there's some osteal adhesions on that side. Now I will open the inflow more and close the outflow to get more pressure and trying to find the strategy Inspect both ostia again, adjust the focus, and then rotate gently. You see, there is, this is rotation of the scissor. This is rotation of the whole system. Please appreciate that. You have to master rotation of the whole system to see the tubal ostia. Go by the scissor and cut, cut, cut. Always have a view of the tubal ostium because this is the landmark about when to stop. This is residual septum. It was not properly done. Okay, let's have it. This is the ostia, and I can play into the ostia like this, and you do ostium dilating. Remove the membrane. You see, ostia is is looking nicer now. Then learn how to rotate the scissor to the other side like this. This is rotation, this is the other side, but you cannot see the ostia. Rotate the camera again. Rotate the camera and cut. Cut. These are the secret tips you're not finding in a textbook. Few people tell, so please 
learn and do and always be careful to adjust the focus these are the fibers of the fundus i be careful here because it was already attempted before not by myself okay for the septum and not fully removed okay so this is one tubal ostium i can see there is some depth so very little cut you have to be like a microsurgeon i have not the okay okay and again this is the rotation of the scissor and this is the rotation of the whole system okay there are some adhesions here i will just move like this you see just i'm not cutting okay so you remember that tube was covered by a membrane it's nice now and every now and then more more tips okay when you are putting the pushing the serve the, the scissor in you have less fluid pressure when you pull the serve scissors out you have more fluid pressure and be careful not to cut too much the fundus should not be like an umbrella okay and i feel comfortable when i ask my nurse iman should i cut more we're here here okay why i ask iman because she assisted me thousands of times so she know when i work good and when i work bad so she can give me a guide okay more i don't i don't think we should do more this is a blood vessel you see the blood vessel you see the pulsating come close come close you see the pulsation here i will show it to you Position is obvious. Okay, like the flasher. Okay, I will show it more. Okay, I come close, close, and I will show. This is a blood vessel, and this is the fund of my media. You see that? Yes. You see the vessel here? Wait. wait, wait. Wow! You see the pulsations, everybody? Luigi, Alonso, you love this flasher? Okay, this is the pulsating vessels. And this is the tubal ostium. Always adjust the focus and... Give me another one, okay? Let's see what I'm going to do. Let's see what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these little tips. What I say by rotating the whole system, people think that we have to rotate the light cable. Yes, it's okay for diagnostic procedure, but if you have one hand holding the scissor, one hand holding the camera, how can you reach the light cable? So rotating the whole system like this, when you rotate the whole system, the scissor will rotate. You have to correct by rotating the scissor to the opposite side. So it is like that. And use two joints, the wrist joint and the elbow and shoulder joint it's like this rotate like that look so don't fix your elbow in your side this will give you restricted movement you have to rotate the whole system chef any guys you see me well yes, yes. because my assistant is doing the recording thank you ahmed for recording this video thank, thank you iman thank you dr baha thank you coca thank you everybody and goodbye uh, i will do more more zoom in. okay back again this is the same case which uh, we just corrected the residual part of the septum Actually, it was not just the residual part of the septum. There was some fibrosis and adhesion. So we are trying now uh, to add a complementary step, which is injection of PRP. How to inject the PRP, platelet-rich plasma? We use the ovum pickup needle. That's it. Where it is? This is the ovum pickup needle with the beveling. And we go strictly sub-endometrial, like that. We are now sub endometrial inject. Yeah. Yes, you see the swelling? So, okay, all right. So this is, you see this swelling? That's the platelet-rich plasma. And I want to go here also. Yes, you see the swelling? Some leakage happened. Okay. And we choose another point. Okay. 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 Okay.
ثلاث صور يعني هات طول دي خلي ايدك عليهم سميها لف ايوه كده This is subendometrial. Yalla, hini ya. You see the swelling? Yes. So yes, excellent. Zoom in ala da. So this is the PRP uh, injected subendometrial. Okay. Thank you very much.